Everybody at some point in their lives is going to need a bestie. Even me, despite the fact that all my friends are synths. So today it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to my new bestie and to yours. The 5 channel stereo mixer from the fine fine people over at Bastille Instruments. Now I can't be sure if Bastille sent me this to check out purely so that I could make that terrible pun. However, I'm glad they did because this is not just a handy wee mixer. It's also got a bit of a dark and chaotic side to it which I'm going to be exploring in this video. <laughs> Now before I get on to any of that, I will show you some of the mixer features of Bestie. On the front here, we have inputs for five different stereo channels. Inputs two, three and four are on a single stereo mini jack connection and inputs one and five are split out so that you can use mono connections if you so wish. On the top panel, each individual channel has its own volume control. It also has an individual mute switch for each one as well which is particularly handy. On the rear here, you can see that we have a mix output, which is on stereo mini jack. We also have a headphone output, which is also on mini jack. And for the headphones on the front here, we have a dedicated volume control. And there's also a pre post switch, which allows you to monitor everything going through the mixer, even if it's muted. So it's kind of like a DJ monitoring situation, which is actually a really nice feature and unusual on a mixer of this size and and budget. In terms of form and build quality, Bestie fits in the palm of your hand literally as you can see here, but it's also extremely well built. Unlike some of the other Bastille products which are made of plastic, this is all metal. It feels extremely tough and would take a few knocks if you were to use it in a live environment for example, so uh, I have zero concerns about chucking this in my bag. When it comes to power, you have USB-C on the rear which means you can also use something like you know, a portable battery pack or whatever if you're that way inclined. And there is also the opportunity to use four AA batteries in the bottom. I do find it a bit weird that there's no battery cover here, but it's kind of like a pocket operator or something in that regard. Now even though Bestie is an interesting wee compact mixer in its own right, it also has a couple of things that make it especially intriguing. The first one is that as you can see here, each individual channel has got up to 20 decibels of boost on it, which means in practice that you can overdrive individual elements to a rather pleasing degree. This is particularly cool if you use it with a drum machine or a bass synthesizer and that crunchy overdriven sound is part of the reason people still seek out old vintage mixers like the BX80 for example. Now the real magic with the Bestie comes from channel 3. If you plug in a stereo connection to input 3 of Bestie then it will mix up as you might expect like any of the other channels. However, if you don't have anything plugged into the front, then the output of channel 3 by default is normaled back into the input of the mixer, creating a feedback loop. Now if you listen to it on its own, well it kind of sounds like feedback. However, if you start to add in different elements to your other channels and overdrive them in particular, then the relationship and interplay between all of that can sound just gloriously unpredictable and chaotic. <laughs> If you dial in the settings right, you can get really interesting sounds and they can really fatten up your drums or your synthesizer or whatever else. In 
my experiments, I've tried this with a drum machine, with a polyend play, so applying it to the full mix. Also with my Eurorack, and in that case it kind of doubled up in itself and folded over, I guess. I don't really know the fucking technical explanation, but it kind of glitched it out and gave it a different timbre. I guess it's a wave folder, right? End of day? <laughs> Also a whole bunch of other scenarios. Bestie is designed to encourage you to experiment with different levels of overdrive, different degrees of feedback and mixing everything in together to produce timbres that you might not have found otherwise. Another cool thing you can do is to take the headphone output, run it through a bunch of effects pedals and then bring it back into the mixer via one of the channels and this gives you a whole other layer of chaos uh, in relation to the feedback loop which is pretty cool to play with. In summary, I think this is a really cool wee thing from Bastel. It's a really interesting idea that's been really nicely executed and I can think of a whole bunch of different scenarios where this would be useful in practice. Whether you just want to explore the various levels of sonic insanity that you can get from the feedback loop or you want to crunch up your drums and use it as a kind of effects box if you want to use it as a kind of versatile portable mixer and a whole bunch of people they use a collection of smaller devices like pocket operators, the OP1 and also Volkas when they're playing live and this would be ideal for that particularly because you could crunch up the individual channels as you liked. Uh, for under 200 euros or something like that you're getting a fair whack of features in this that you wouldn't get on some of the other kind of no branded Chinese mixers that you see kicking about. I've got a lot of time for Bastille instruments in general. They make a lot of weird and wonderful devices that are designed for people that like to explore sound and I'm really glad they sent me this out because I will be making good use of it in the times to come. I hope you like my new wee bestie and perhaps he can be your wee bestie and all. <laughs> oh Jesus. For now, see you later.